Good morning, friends. Teresa from Star Stars Homestead. Today is really going to be a quickie video because this. These are my meatballs from yesterday. And if you didn't watch that video, go watch it. You can skip the meatloaf part of it because I did meatballs and. Um, these are amazing. I did keep them out so I didn't freeze them because tonight I'm making Swedish meatballs over um, mashed potatoes. I want easy. So what I'm doing, I've got right about three tablespoons of butter melting in here. I did not want to mess with that. You know I like mixing my flour so that we don't get any lumps. I tried it their way last time and I didn't like it. So I took a little bit, probably a half a cup of my beef broth. Now I'm using chicken broth because that's what I have in the fridge. Um, and poured it in here. And now I am going to put it in this melted butter and cook up my flour. Ah, sweet. Look, and I still have a lump because I didn't shake it enough. That'll come out. So, we're just going to heat this flour up in this butter. So, yeah, last night's dinner was amazing. And I'm not going to use this right now. I'm going to use this. Um, but, i got to say, the meatballs, I can't wait to taste these. I love mashed potatoes. It's simple, easy meal tonight. So this is going to still keep cooking. I got up this morning. My husband says, good morning, dear. You're making an awful lot of noise. What are you doing? I said, I'm cleaning. <laughs> I, I just, I make a mess when I cook and start doing things like canning and whatnot. So I just started putting everything away and cleaning. Only thing I didn't do is wash my floor again. I mean, I was washing windows and everything this morning. Because God knows it needed it. And I'm using, I'm giving you this recipe, but um, uh, I upped it a little. It calls for a cup and a half of beef broth. I am using chicken broth because that's what was in my fridge. Um, but I had two cups, so I just added an extra tablespoon of flour in here, and I'll put a little extra of my heavy cream. So, now I'm going to add the rest of my broth in. And now I'm going to go back to this. I might even put more, because those meatballs are huge, and, you know, Swedish meatballs are tiny. So... Heating up. I'm going to put my sugar in too. This calls for two teaspoons. I'm going to put two tablespoons because I like sweet <laughs> of brown sugar. It'll make it look like uh, beef broth. <laughs> and that's all there is to this, my friends. I'm going to put my heavy whipping cream in here and my pepper. And we will have dinner. Because my dinner is going to take me 10 minutes tonight. Alright, I'm going to add my heavy cream. Alright, I'm going to add it's a little less than a cup of cream. Of course, this recipe calls for a half a cup. That's all right. Yeah, see, I think I'm going to double this because it ain't enough. It looks like I'm going to have to get a small pan out and double this, do my flour and stuff over because that is not enough sauce for us. So, let me do that, and I will be back. Uh, because now it's done. 
about a teaspoon of pepper. Now it's done. Let's try this. I might need some salt. Ooh, that's really good. <laughs> you can definitely taste the sugar. That is really good. Yeah, I need my meatballs to soak, and those meatballs are so big. If this was for Swedish meatballs, you know, the small meatballs, well, my meatballs are a couple inches. So we definitely need more. So I'm going to go make the make it and add it to this, and I'll be back for the finished product. All right, friends. I doubled it. This time I used my beef broth. <laughs> So I have half beef, half chicken broth. That's okay. And this is done. You want to talk about quick? I am making, here's my meatballs. Look at those. And that's perfect. I'm making, uh, I'll put these in first. Mashed potatoes. Homemade out of a package. We want quick tonight because these are amazing and I love instant potatoes. So you do you. You want to make homemade potatoes? Have at it. These are must try. I'm telling you guys, phenomenal. And that's the perfect amount of sauce, too. Look at those. Now, we're just going to let this cook. I'm going to turn it down. I've got it pretty high there. And let these meatballs heat up. By the time that is done, these should be done. Alrighty, friends. And there you have it. Look at that. Mm. And I'm having two of them tonight. So, let's see how that sauce came out. Oh. Meatballs. Don't forget there was cheese in those meatballs, too. Oh, my God. With the mashed potatoes and, and the Swedish meatball sauce. Mm. Those are spot on. Oh my God, I might even have a third meatball. And listen, it's 3.31 right now. I think I made an early dinner. I've been thinking about these all day. Um, my son's got today off and he hadn't eaten lunch yet. And I said, no, he's eating dinner tonight. Amazing. I'll put the recipe for the meatballs below. Meatballs and the meatloaf for the same recipe so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to but those meatballs are phenomenal thanks for watching guys like and subscribe if you haven't already if you have thank you i'll see you again ciao for now this sauce is amazing by the way yum 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 bye